energy economic news of the day. Voltech stock continues to rise as tensions with China reach an all-time high. With the world poised on the brink of war, Voltech is reporting a record number of reservations in vaults around the country. Uh, I'm here to pick up an order. Two large pepperoni and a calzone. Name is... Fuck you. I am the instrument of justice, and I cannot fall. Death has come for you, evildoer, and I am its shroud. Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. It is not wise to stand between the silver shroud and righteous justice. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Why, you don't remember me? I sold you that space in the vault. <laughs> but then I wasn't on the list to get in. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? I'm a synth. Synthetic man. All the parts, minus a few red blood cells. I got built, I got old, I got tossed. Then I opened up that little agency in Diamond City, and turns out people have plenty of problems to solve. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the Bulls in Lexington, and now this mess. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Just listen to me. <laughs> Tin a crazy old lady. It's the chems, you see. Give old Mama Murphy the sight. You don't get a pass just because everybody calls you general. In the Minutemen, you gotta earn respect. But I've heard some good things about what you've been doing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking. <laughs> well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. This radio station, um, well, <laughs> well uh, you'll notice there aren't any other ones. Now wait just a goddamn minute. Who do you think you are, walking into my bar and telling me what I'm gonna do? Nobody tells me what to do in my own place. You'd better turn around and walk out of here while you still can. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Look, we're pulling a job here. Big payoff. Taking some things that aren't technically ours yet. It's not gonna be easy. But that's why we only hired the best sort of here. You are going to be doing some digging. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Now there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. It's your eyes. Quick and 
are intense. I bet you never miss a detail, hmm? <laughs> you like what you see? Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the Simps' only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this coarser murdering machine a little courtesy. Hmm? Just a thought. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. They call me Glory, the angel of death. The ass-kicking poster child of a liberated sin. You can call me Miss Angel of Death, for short. You're helping out my people. So some advice? Kiss up to Tinker Tom. He's batshit crazy, but he's got all the good stuff. All the custom toys you field agent shoes, my boys and I make. We're thinking outside the box, man. Gotta get real creative, real wacky to stay ahead of those Institute eggheads. Don't even get me started on all their secret projects. Now. I got all these ideas in my head. So building time. The switchboard is a nexus of institute activity. Odds of detection increase exponentially with proximity to the nexus. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sin. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. If the Synths reached the point where they outnumbered mankind, how long would it take for them to decide we were no longer necessary? They certainly possess the capability to make more of their own kind, so we'd become expendable. And with Institute technology on their side, nothing could stop them. Not even the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? We've pre-programmed Liberty Prime's battle coordinates into his navigational processor. As soon as he's under his own power, he'll head straight for the Institute. Elder Maxon wants you to follow and make sure he arrives at the CIT in one piece. Your actions have proven to the people of the Commonwealth that the Brotherhood of Steel has their best interests in mind. That's quite an accomplishment for someone who was merely a new recruit only a short time ago. Can't you put the Brotherhood aside even for a moment? Am I really asking that much? Just talk to him. Find out what's going on inside his head. Then weigh your options. This world, this life, you've seen it. Pain, suffering, death is its only escape. But don't worry, Sean's fine. Maybe a little older than you expected, huh? But I can't give him to you, because he ain't here. I'm sorry, what? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. There were some side effects to the process. I seem to have hair again, and I've retained some muscle mass. The genetic resequencer needs more work. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute, just as... as you mean to your son, to Sean. Justin Ayo, Acting Director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe him. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. 
As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. If the Institute represents the best of humanity, of what it can accomplish, then the Commonwealth represents the worst. It's like a rotting corpse, and the people who make their home there are like carrion worms, feeding on the filth. I kept sending sins to the surface, hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. I asked my friends if they'd take up arms for their freedom. I was surprised at the number of volunteers. Perhaps once the fighting begins, many others will join us. I never knew my parents. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. Can you believe I was actually the mayor for a while? Me. Crazy, I know. I was attempting to teach those super mutants human culture. Trying to civilize them. I thought if they could just experience the majesty of Shakespeare, it would change them forever. And who better to open their eyes to the wonders of the Bard than Rex Goodman, the foremost actor in the world today. Milk is secret to humans. Macbeth say milk make humans strong. Stronger than super mutants. Strong find milk, drink milk, make super mutants stronger than humans. Why are you here? War is over. Long over. And my Yang Zi holds no bow, no treasure, nothing for you to plunder. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. We want to make sure only good people come into cover. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald. But you, cutie, can call me Penny. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract and I will honor it, even if I have to kill you to do it. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. I don't mind you asking questions, as long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. The old world's luxuries were paid for by an infinity of rules and restrictions. There was no room for a truly creative mind to flourish. Now, however, there's nothing to stand in my way. Or yours. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Gran says I have a knack for finding stuff out that I'm not supposed to. Actually, she ain't my gran. She's just Priscilla. But she acts like my gran. When my mom and dad died, she took me in. Anyways, do you want me to show you around or not? I'm the vault biologist and hydroponic gardener. Everything you see here, I grew. Including this new fruit I just developed. But I need someone to test it. Sure I can't talk you into trying it? Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? What happened? He scratched me. 
and I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes, and he's the best cat in the whole world. He's my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy. I feel better. Done. Now that it's getting out of control, it's another story. He wants to put me at risk, he gets cut off. I can't do this job, man. Old Rusty does it all. And I know people are talking about me behind my back. And the hours? The Overseer says I gotta be on call 24-7, and these generators are always on the fritz. It's more than I can handle, man. I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR IE. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. When I close my eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. Now, the pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix them? Hey, man. I don't think we've met, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey. Commonwealth Minutemen. Uh-huh. We protect the people at a minute's notice. That's the idea, anyway. You might have heard we're making a comeback. The General sent me to collect donations from concerned citizens like yourself. Help us out, and you can count on the Minutemen to be there when you need us. Can I put you down for, say, a hundred caps? You really need to get a better overcoat. And you forgot to pin up the hat. Still, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, shit. 